welcome back to the channel today's video we are going to make this nigerian delicious buns in case you are coming across my channel for the first time i am emanuela welcome to alex tv if you are interested to see the process just stay tuned and keep watching let's get to the ingredients here is a bowl that I'll be using to mix the buns. I go in with two cups of flour, all-purpose flour. I put it in a sieve and sieve it out. I like sieving my flour because of sometimes you get some small small particles inside the flour. As you can see now, I go in with some baking powder, some salt, pinch of salt. Then I add in some nutmeg. You can use cinnamon or any flavor of choice. Then after adding all the dry ingredients, I go ahead and mix it well and keep aside. Here in another bowl, I start adding in the wet ingredients. This is egg. I go ahead and add in some milk. After adding some milk, I add in 2 tablespoons of sugar, melted butter. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and to all my returning subscribers, you guys are my real G. I really appreciate all your support, your comments, your like and your share. I really appreciate. God bless you all. After mixing together, I go ahead and pour it in in the floor. and then mix it all well to combine. At this point, you can adjust the way you want your buns to be. If you want your buns to be strong, you can add little water. But if you want it softer, you can add more water. Then I go ahead and add in some water because I want my buns to be a bit soft, not strong. Then I go ahead and mix it well to combine. As you can see, it is soft as. As you can see now, it is soft and stretchy. This is how I want it to be. I go ahead and keep it aside. I have already put in my oil on the heat. I go ahead and check if my oil is hot enough. And now it is okay for me to go in with the buns. You don't need your oil to be too hot because it's going to make your buns not to be fully done in the inside. And you don't need a oil that is not hot enough. So you put your heat on a medium and start adding in your buns. You can see the way I'm molding it and you don't expect it to be on a good shape or in a round shape like puff puff because this is bones and you can see this crack the crack shows that your bones is going to be sweet and crunchy that you missed your ingredients very well I go ahead and be turning it to the other side so that the both side or the round side will be fully cooked the more you leave it the more it gets brown you can leave the buns on a heat for about 7 to 10 minutes before bringing it down. Look at that crack, it's giving Nigerian crunchy buns. <laughs> so after some minutes, I go ahead and start bringing them out. And my buns is ready. If you have been watching at this point and you have not yet subscribed, please kindly do where to subscribe, put on your bell notification to be notified anytime we are going to upload a new video. This is how the buns is looking. I go ahead and open it. Look at the inside, well cooked and soft. See how soft it is. I go ahead and enjoyed it with chilled bottle of coke and that's it thanks so much for watching see you in my next video bye bye